Hello and welcome to Biology Made Simple with student Dr. Siddiqui. Today we're going to be talking about renal physiology. We're going to take a look at the kidneys and see how they process urine. Humans have two kidneys. They are four inches long and two to three inches wide. The kidneys are located in the posterior abdominal wall. The right kidney tends to be lower than the left due to the large lobe of the liver. The kidneys have many functions. Their excretory function includes excreting metabolic waste products such as urea and creatinine, drugs and toxins. They have regulatory functions such as regulating water balance, electrolyte balance, and acid-base balance. They also have endocrine functions, including secreting erythropoietin, renin, and prostaglandins. They also have metabolic functions, uh, which includes converting inactive vitamin D into active vitamin D. The uh, kidneys have an outer layer called the renal capsule, and it is divided into two sections, the cortex and the inner medulla. The kidneys are highly vascularized, um, the blood runs through the renal artery and um, exits through the renal vein. The functional unit of the kidney is called a nephron. Each kidney has about a million nephrons, so together about two million nephrons exist in both the kidneys. And these nephrons consist of the Bowman's capsule. As the filtrate moves down the Bowman's capsule, it goes into the proximal convoluted tubule where most of the reabsorption and secretion occurs. Um, as the filtrate moves, it goes down into the descending loop of Henle and up the eight thin ascending loop of Henle and thick ascending loop of Henle going into the distal convoluted tubule and eventually collecting in the collecting duct. As the urine accumulates, it goes into the collecting duct and is eventually excreted through the urethra. In the vascular system, blood moves through the afferent arterioles into the glomerulus, which is basically a uh, bunch of capillaries that forms around the Bowman's capsule and exits to the efferent arterioles, going into the peritubular capillary and eventually out into the renal vein. And as you can see, most of the reabsorption occurs through the proximal convoluted tubule and as well as secretion.